It's an oasis in the desert. Lake Powell is the largest reservoir in the United States. The man-made lake is a water supplier for 40 million people in seven different states. It's also a vacation hotspot for travelers, not just from Utah, but around the world. But our drought has taken its toll. Tonight, a Good For Utah special report, ebb and flow. Alana Brophy travels to Lake Powell with an eye on the impact of our dry conditions and whether the local economy fluctuates as much as the water levels there. Cool blue water, sandy beaches, red rock scenery. The sights and sounds tourists and boaters from around the world know and love. It gets pretty crowded, uh, water skiers, jet skiers. But loyal boaters know the last few years have been different. It's lower right now than it was last year, and it just keeps going down. It's not a huge surprise. Snowpack numbers are grim for the state of Utah, only slightly better for Lake Powell's feeder, the Colorado River. Lake Powell straddles the border of Utah and Arizona. There are six major marinas on the lake, one of which is inoperable and has been for several years. Dennis Shepard was once a regular at Height Marina. Yeah, Height, when the water was up, uh, we'd fish at Height, and the fishing's a lot better. But now, the boat launch is surrounded by dusk. It serves rafters as a camping area with the Colorado River running through it. The closest place Shepard can put in is another 65 miles away at Bullfrog Marina, where he says while it's early in the season, it's still lower than years past. Where we used to fish, now there's uh, there are islands out there. Shepard, like many other boaters, notice lower levels through changes in landscape. You see more beaches, more rocks, and what's been dubbed the bathtub ring around the sandstone of the canyon. Minerals come through the, the rock and, and waterborne minerals, and they do over time, when the lake is, is more submerged, leave a, a white ring on the lake. The bathtub ring shows when the lake is not at full capacity. That's been the case for at least the last five years. Since 2010, the highest water levels at the lake were in July of 2011, when capacity made it to 76%. But the National Park Service says sometimes that bathtub ring can be misleading. It could be taken a lot of different ways, but it's a reminder of us that the water's gone down and the water will go back up. Lake Powell was built back in 1963. The lake is full when it reaches 3,700 feet. The last time that happened was in 1986. The lowest elevation ever recorded was in 2005. But the National Park Service says they're used to changing water levels. Last year, they excavated a shortcut to the main channel, the Castle Rock Cut, for a fourth time. Not only Castle Rock Cut was lowered, but we extend launch ramps. We move our facilities further out into the lake so people can access them. Getting onto the water is very important, and moving up and down the lake is, is part of our, our regular process. Right now, water levels at Lake Powell are 110 feet below full capacity. Just another visible reminder of fluctuating levels. In years past, water has extended to the top of this cut and all the way to the base of Castle Rock itself. This lake fluctuates so much that uh, you know, the scenery is always equally as good high or low. Now, after the break, Alana continues her special report about Lake Powell, why it may seem like the lake is low. It's actually having very little effect on the area. The boom of Lake Powell when we return. You know, tonight we're looking at how the drought in Utah and the rest of the West has impacted the largest man-made reservoir in the U.S., which is Lake Powell. And the second part of our special report, Alana Brophy, shows us why the economy and communities around the lake is booming, even though the water is low. Many people hear the word low and think bad. You can look at the numbers, notice the bathtub ring, but the people that live and depend on the lake know looks can be deceiving. Here in Antelope, everything is, I mean, it, it's, there's a waiting list for everything. I mean, to get a slip, there's a waiting list. To, in, in dry storage, there's a waiting list. Uh, so we're, we're booming. Antelope Point is another of the six Lake Powell marinas, and rentals are through the roof. Houseboats are booked, and tours are filling through August. Right now, the marina sits on more than 350 feet of water. Guy Robertson grew up on Lake Powell and says the lake has fluctuated since the year it was built. Yeah, the lake's lower than, you know, it, it was 10 years ago. But there's so much lake out there. There's still 1,800 miles of shoreline. There's, there's uh, you know, there's more shoreline than the, than the, than the uh, coast of California. 10 years ago, well, actually 15 years ago, I was hired by Utah Door Magazine to map this lake, and it took two of us a whole year 
I mean, if the lake's so huge that uh, you know, having the low waters, it's not that big a deal. Robertson says it's better to boat on now. With lower levels, recreation can revolve around the 96 narrow and beautiful side canyons. Antelope Point has already seen an influx of tourists this year. The general manager of the marina says tourism doesn't really slow based on water levels. He says it just enhances the scenery. You can go on to Lake Powell every weekend throughout the year for the past 11 years based on the fluctuation of the lake. You would see something different every time that you were out here. Matt Stein runs an air ambulance business in Page, Arizona. He's the CEO of Classic Air Medical and this is his 23rd season flying over the lake. He's prepping for a lot of traffic this year. This year uh, is going to be uh, uh, quite busy on the lake, maybe a record we've seen. I think uh, the price of gas being low, uh, generally the perception of the economy is, is uh, better than it has been in, in recent years. And, and I think there's going to be a lot more of a, a middle class folks up here on Lake Powell this year. Stein also says he's seen the bathtub ring for years. He says people should be used to it by now. In fact, he says the only time you won't see it is when the lake is full. There will always be a bathtub ring, and depending on your, your view, your perspective, uh, you know, it, uh, uh, it may look a little different from one trip to the other. So to the passerby, Lake Powell may seem low at the surface, but right now there are hundreds of feet of water ready for recreation, and everyone who relies on the lake seems to agree. What goes down will eventually come up. I do believe overall that, it, that it's uh, mostly nature. We, uh, we go through cycles, and uh, you know we just have to be patient and go through the cycle. The lake goes up and down, and it, it, it always will. That's the, that, it was made that way. Reporting from Lake Powell, Alana Brophy, good for Utah. And due to demand, Antelope Point Marina is actually building an additional dock. They're going to add more boat slips for private and business use.